What is going on, everybody? It's Captain Blue Show. I almost, uh, almost took my neck out on that one. <laughs> guys, uh, today, uh, just coming in to you guys today with a simple, basically updated uh, UI video, just going over my personal UI setup for my uh, my Destro lock and uh, I know that we just did a video of it before just kind of looking at the customizations and I have to say I absolutely love it I'm, I'm really in love with it um, you know with all the things that you can do there are things that you can do to improve it um, I know that they have a weak auras to resize your mini map over there couple of other features add-ons little tweaks and everything that you can find on your own but Overall, it does its job very, very well, and um, yeah, I'm just going to go over my setup. Nothing too special or fancy, but speaking of special and fancy, did you guys see my mount? Yeah, baby! High fives all around. Headless Horseman uh, mount. Finally got it this year. I am so happy. I am so happy that I finally got it. Oh my god, I've been after this thing for so long and it's been crazy because a few people that you know that I know that I'm an acquaintance with they've actually got it on the same day that I did which is I mean it's crazy right so it's I mean it's just the just the year for it I'm super happy but let's go ahead and get into the uh, the quick video here just gonna go down a uh, run through so definitely stick around it's Captain Blue Shell well 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 if it isn't Captain Blue Shell First thing is first guys, let's go ahead and open up that beautiful edit mode and as you can see everything pretty much surrounds the center of the screen. I don't have too much hanging off into the center anything like that. Um, basically my abilities, they're pretty low key. I only have two columns so I'm going to be getting rid of this column in just a second. I've got all my raid information over here. Uh, basically we have our party with the, uh, the health, everything that we need to know. Quests, achievements, all that good stuff up on the top left. Uh, chat is just right behind me so you know pretty standard. Nothing special, nothing fancy. I got my buffs up here, debuffs. Um, basically my first uh, action bar, my action bar number one is over here because I have it all, basically I have the buttons on my mouse, 1 through 12, so I can go ahead, I've got them programmed and I'm just so used to them that I know what buttons to press. Um, you know, I pretty much know the, the timing of the cooldown, so I don't really need them in front of me, per se. Uh, so they just kind of stay, you know, just hang out over here to the right. I just kind of like everything central, uh, to where I can see what's going on. Um, I did go ahead and put up my health bar on the top so that I can take a look at my shards. Shards are important when you are a Destro Lock, so definitely keep on those. And then my target over on the right. This is probably more OCD <laughs> than anything, um, but just to kind of keep it level. And plus, the great thing is, is that I can stare at the very center of the screen right here, and I can basically keep an eye on everything with my peripheral vision, which is nice. It's nice that I can do that. But let's go ahead and also talk about the abilities down here. Actually, you know what? I lied. First thing we're going to be talking about is going to be my action bar one. Just kind of give it a, uh, a rundown here. So let me go ahead and get this over to here and I'll show you guys my setup for it. Uh, just for just for the fun of it. Just for just for fun and giggles. You know what I mean? There we go. So basically just like a good standard warlock. You know I've got my uh, my emulate first. Have to have to do the emulate. I've got Incinerate, I really do love incinerating people, uh, <laughs> Conflagrate, of course, as well. Chaos Bolt, now, my talents, uh, they do have a lot to do with Chaos Bolt and Drain Life, so I'm a huge fan of both of those, so obviously Chaos Bolt. Uh, we've got Reign of Fire and Cataclysm, our AoEs, getting rid of the trash, everything around, gotta love these ones. Drain Life. Heck yeah, that's the one that's going to be saving our lives. I absolutely love it. Uh, Channel Demon Fire, which I have a talent of like Raging Demon Fire or something like that. It buffs it up. Uh, we have our Bane of Havoc. So basically, it's an area in which if you send out a spell within that area, it's going to affect every enemy with that the, the same spell, which is pretty freaking awesome. I went with the Soul Keeper. 
Um, I like the guy because he's good at, you know, picking out like a little bit of the trash. Uh, you know, if you have a few enemies in a small area, he just goes ahead and wipes them out real quick. Not that big of a deal, but it is pretty helpful. Mortal Coil, it horrifies the enemy, but also uh, it heals you for 20% of your max health. I mean, it's pretty useful. And then Shadow Fury, uh, stun, you know, in case if it's a last ditch effort, I need to stun somebody, then I'll take my shirt off. And I, no, 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 so that's not, it's, it's, it's YouTube, so why not? Oh, it would stun people for sure. As we go ahead and move this on back, I'm gonna let you guys know that the, uh, I believe that's the secondary action bar underneath here. Basically, I just have a bunch of stuff. Um, I've got Ritual of Summoning because we're not going to be using that in battle. It's basically going to be when, you know, everything is calm and we need somebody in, you know, the raid party, whatever, to join us. Then we'll go ahead and do that together. That's why I have it way over there. I've got some PvP uh, talents, top and bottom. I don't do PvP too much, so they just kind of, you know, they're hanging out over that away. I've got my uh, pump action bandage gun for that stupid dragon in Ice Crown Citadel, because I have to have it. Uh, fishing pole, fishing, and then my mount. So just basically just junk over there, everything else. But our main concern, the bread and butter, ladies and gentlemen of this conversation, Destro Lock abilities down here. What did we do? I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of go down the list and let you guys know about the uh, the grouping of them too as well. First off, in this bar, literally right here, uh, we have everything pertaining to my minion, my demons, everything like that. So the first one, uh, summon demon. If my void lord is completely gone and missing because he ran away and now I miss him and I really want him back, I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, you know what? This is a perfect time to show this off too. Underneath that is something called fell domination which if you go ahead and use it, there we go, then basically he just appears. Um, it's very, very quick. It's almost instant that you get another uh, Void Lord, which is really, really cool. Um, also to above that, uh, we have summon all of our minions too as well, which is nice. Everything is here, you know, pretty much in a line. We've got Subjugate Demon, so another demon, we can go ahead and do that. And then Health Funnel, I don't use it too much. I think my health is a little bit more important than my minions. That's just me. Uh, second bar here, we've got everything with the uh, the Health Stones. Over in this corner here, we have Health Stone uh, to actually use and then create a Health Stone. So if we, I know my inventory is full, but we're going to go and do it anyway. I know, I know. Thank you. Thanks. Thank, thank you for letting me know. I appreciate it. So yeah, pretty much everything this corner, uh, we've got soul stone and soul well. So if I'm going to go ahead and be getting into battle, I'll go ahead and get my soul stone ready in case if I die, then I can go ahead and res back uh, right back into the battle, which is very nice. Up top, our buff, soul stone. And then if the party needs it, if I need to be quick about it, if we only have a few seconds of a break, I need to go ahead and hurry up and make a soul well. Make them cookies, baby. Heck yeah, baking them cookies with the Destro Lock. There it is. Come and get your cookies, ladies and gentlemen. So everything like this, top right corner, and also in sections, it makes sense. And down here in this corner, we have our transportation. You're probably asking me, Captain, Warlocks can transport? Heck yeah, that's right, my brethren. Uh, basically, let's go ahead and let me go ahead and show you guys this. So basically, this is your demonic circle. So if you go ahead and place this down on the battlefield, voila, there is a beautiful circle. I don't know why it was taking that long. There you go. Beautiful circle, I'll look at its holy glory and just absolutely beautiful amazingness. And you're gonna go ahead and step away. I'm gonna be stepping over here cause I'm gonna do something extremely important. But let's say I wanna get back to my circle, but I'm too lazy, I ate way too many chicken nuggies, I just can't even walk over there. What do I do? I hit this button which says demonic circle teleport. Yes, warlocks can teleport just like this. Booyah, and here we go. Are we going back? Are we not going back? There we go, okay. There's There's gotta be a little bit of lag. There's too much awesomeness detected with our demonic circle. They're like, um, 
warlocks can teleport. Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. Like, I even I even threw the game for a loop. The game wasn't even sure. That's how freaking amazing it is when warlocks teleport. But do you guys want to see one of the coolest things along with this is right here, located the same corner as all of our abilities. If we go ahead and activate our little eye of awesomeness, that's what it's called. No, I'm kidding. It's actually called the eye of Kilrog, not Kellogg. We don't summon a bowl of cereal and then, you know, throw milk at it. That's, that's not what it's about. That would actually be pretty cool. But uh, let's go ahead and say that there's an enemy down here, okay? We're still up here. We're searching down here for an enemy. There is no enemy. In fact, it was just a giant roach. And now we can't find it. And now you're going to have nightmares all night. And so we're here. We're chilling. But let me go ahead and say that I want to go ahead and place the circle as to where we are. Let me go ahead and just click this button. And booyah, the circle magically appears uh, as to where our uh, our eye is. So our circle is now down there. It's underneath us where our eye just was. But let me go ahead and say that, you know, I want to be with that circle. It's just so beautiful. I can't stand away from it. I want to join the party with it. I want to marry it. And let's go ahead and get to that circle because I can go ahead and basically teleport right to it. And let's go ahead and do that. And a little bit of lag, but that's all right. Booyah, it was worth it. And now we're down here. So basically right through the roof, down to here, we made it through. It's very, very handy to use. It's probably one of the most useful tools that a warlock can use. And a lot of people don't even realize that they have it. They look at warlocks and they're like, ah, you know, warlocks do AOE spells and single spells and it's all right, but it's not my thing. They don't even know about the eye and that you can actually teleport wherever it is. So you got to read the finer details. You got to read the finer print. And that also counts for the same thing with your demonic gateway. If we go ahead and activate this and let's go ahead and say that I'm too lazy again to walk across the room. Again, I ate too many chicken nuggies. I just can't walk over there. Let me go ahead and place this over here and watch this. So basically this allows us to open up two different gates, uh, one purple, one green. I'm gonna go ahead and use this and booyah, all the way over to here. I think it's a 40 yard range, is that right? Uh, we've got 10 to 40 yard range, yes. But the upside is, is that all the players in your party or your raid can use this. So if there's a giant leap or something, or you guys need to get around something quickly, you place this, everybody can use it they just teleport up to 40 yards on the way i mean it's it's absolutely ridiculous as to what you can do with a warlock the mastery and time of learning your abilities is key and this is how you get good at a class this is how you get good at a specialization it's reading between the lines and kind of bending the rules, bending the instructions a little bit to where you can make pretty much anything happen. And after all of this, with this column, everything that we've just done, that's just the first column. <laughs> on the second column, way over on the other side, we have two of the most important abilities of a warlock, in my own opinion anyway. It is your Infernal. Uh, so this guy's going to be coming down, crashing the party through the ceiling. Oh my god, there he is. Wow, what's up, buddy? How are you, my friend? I was down on the other side. I was pumping some iron, and then somebody told me I have to get to the chopper. Get to the chopper! He is... I absolutely love my Infernal. He's like one of my best friends, and I absolutely love him. Yes, it is true. We are... we are getting married. Yes, it is. Actually, let me go and stand by him. No! No! Even my void lord is like in tears. Oh my god. And then we also have Unending Resolve. One of the best buff abilities, in my opinion, with a warlock. It only lasts eight seconds, but it is truly strong. It could save your life. So basically, um, like I said, eight seconds, but it hardens your skin, reducing all damage you take by 40%, granting immunity to interrupt silence and pushback effects so if there's somebody gonna be pushing you around not for those eight seconds heck no baby basically you go ahead and get that in and you are curtained up with a purple string of love with a skeleton 
It's the latest fashion from Lady Gaga, ladies and gentlemen. Next, down here underneath these guys, the reason why I put these down here is because, like I said, they have a very, very long cooldown time. Three minutes for summon and three minutes for unending resolve. So both of them, three minute cooldowns. That's why I go ahead and put them up there. And then I have my curses, which I can go ahead and basically just select. I usually do curse of weakness. Um, basically, it uh, it's like an extension between their attacks by 20% for two whole minutes, which is great. Um, you know, curse of uh, exhaustion, it says reduces targets movement by half for only 12 seconds not that long and then the tongues which is well curse of tongues you know of course there's not like gonna be tongues coming out like this this is this is taking a really weird turn forces the target to speak in demonic increasing casting time of all spells by 30 percent for one minute so it's good if you have a magic enemy and you can kind of you know interrupt their spells a little bit but it's not always used and then down here i've got fear which if you're damaged it can wear off the fear anyway it, it had to have a place to go and then <laughs> my uh my covenant abilities which if we're getting to dragon flight i'm not going to be using them too much anymore we will still be using them in the shadowlands but that's going to be it uh we've got door of shadows over here because i also have my spatial rift as well so if I'm going to be uh, chugging along and I use my Spatial Rift, it's going to go ahead and be going, and then I go ahead and activate it. I mean, for a Void Elf, you know, Destro Lock, we can move. I mean, we are pretty good with transportation, to be honest with you, with, uh, you know, everywhere from teleportation, gateway devices that your party can use, and then also even our racial ability, Spatial Rift, and I absolutely love it. And then down here, Impending Catastrophe, in case we need it it's an attack it's under fear just in case we need it so that's basically it i mean that's basically our setup i've got my pets abilities over here too he usually behaves pretty well um he's usually pretty well behaved now that i say that he probably won't be but i mean that goes without saying but um anyway that's pretty much uh pretty much my setup my abilities that they're all kind of grouped in together and i really do encourage that you guys do the same no matter your specialization no matter your classes get used to your abilities know where they are and then group them up kind of like this you know get your get your demonology over here uh, your health over here, transportation down here, curses over here, um, big papas over here. Did I say big papas? I did. Why did I? What is going on? And then basically you have your lesser transportations over here and then just blah, pretty much <laughs> over there, over there, <laughs> over that way. So it's, uh, it, it's pretty good. It works for me. Um, it's a pretty good setup and I absolutely love it. I'm super comfortable with it. Um, you know, especially with the way my abilities are programmed into my mouse. And then also too, I've got my, you know, my Tartarus. So I'm not actually using my keyboard. I am actually using my Tartarus, which I absolutely love. Actually, I should not have done that. But anyway, let me know you guys have set up. Uh, what have you guys been setting up? How is your UI? How do you have your screen kind of made up? What's the same? What's different? And yeah, I mean, just let me know in the comments below. And I will see you guys on that next beautiful organized adventure. It's Captain Blue Shell. I'm out.